good morning, <laughs> or good evening, or good afternoon. So, there's a family here. Okay. Um, it's looking like they're just very selfish. Okay. They want it to be able to surpass um, others. Okay. In particular, their kid. Um, who's very passionate about the downloads that they've been getting. I'm getting downloads. Um, the smoke is clearing on the confusion that this family brought to this person, okay? This is like fake news, fake stories, um, calling their kid delusional or calling their um, niece, nephew delusional, okay? Only because they had your ships come in for them in order to surpass you and others, okay? They were so content. This made them so happy and joyous to have surpassed um, a certain financial bracket, okay? But they had to lie about this news, about how they received this news, um, this good news. They could have said it that they could have said that they got it from a different family member, an older family member. When really it's it's all a lie around their child. Okay, this was supposed to be their child's news, their good news. Okay, their gift in life because of the hardships that they've been through. Okay, either this lifetime or the last or whatever, right? Um, and they created this whole facade around it and called this kid crazy. Um, <laughs> if that's not psychological abuse, I don't know what is. Somebody feels like they'll have a past because of their family. Like, I mean... Maybe if you ask God for forgiveness and 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 also ask him how to approach this person and asking them for forgiveness as well Like it's not I don't know man these people think that it's like blood is thicker than water, but I mean water purifies <laughs> it, it doesn't really matter they're they're their genetics, their DNA. You need water to survive. <laughs> and these people are like, this isn't a, this isn't a good, this isn't a good family. They act like it. They act like it. They act like that, that was coming in for them. Um, but this is an, an illusion. And how dare you create an illusion, create this delusion, and then put it upon somebody else. And act like you got good news uh, by other means. No, you stole that in order to surpass, and you lied about it. And you made some really crazy allegations. So, I mean, um, and I'm what I mean by crazy allegations is like they called you crazy. Okay, they still will. Falsified. Okay, so there's a cult here, a group, a dark group that doesn't want to be exposed, okay, for how dark they are. All right. This group doesn't want to be exposed um, that they they made an offering here to the devil, okay? This group got somebody else to do it, and um, they lied to this 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 practitioner here. Okay, 
they lied to them in order for them to want to be able to do it or something like that. Like th this person does this, they do this, but they lied, falsified. So it's not going to hit your son. It's going to hit one of them. Okay, they'll be bound to this. So somebody tried to attack somebody's son here or their daughter, their kid, okay? I'm getting drawn to the child here. They grouped up to do this because they can't sacrifice you, okay? They've already tried relentless amounts of times, okay? So now they tried to do it to somebody's son. That's also not going to work because you falsified something. It was a, something was a lie. Someone's also really depressed because they have this attachment. They realize that they are the sacrifice, okay? That they are bound to this, whatever it is, like an entity or negativity or like whatever they sent you, right? This person's like trying to be stable and grounded and all chill just because it doesn't want this like demon to come back or like come out with like come out from within them, okay? They're trying to act all chill so that people will be able to work with them. But people see it, man. People see it. People also see that this person's lying when they say that they haven't messed with any dark shit to have that be put upon them. There's a, a, there's a group of people here that are really dark and they don't want it to be discovered that they collaborated in order to sacrifice you, okay, to the fucking devil. They And they lied. That's something about, like, a, a, there's a huge lie here. They lied in order to have people do this over and over and over. Like if they knew the truth about the people who they're collaborating with, they'd probably offer them and it'd work because something wouldn't be false. All right, I don't suggest that, but I'm just saying if these people were to make the decision to sacrifice you, why wouldn't they somebody else, especially if it works, right? Um, just a very dark group of people who don't want to be discovered, who are depressed because they don't know what this, these devils, these demons, these whatever are going to attach themselves within, within their life, okay? But I'm heavily getting finances. Like somebody's finances will be f messed, okay? And their their mood, their happiness. Um, and like if you were to think of karma, and you're you're trying to sacrifice somebody's son, you better you better not have any kids. You know what I mean? Like, ugh, this just stressed me out because like, why? <laughs> why? It's going to backfire. It's going to hit somebody that you're attached to. Okay? And you're going to have to surrender. Okay? To the most high. And you're reluctant to do so. So why do it? Like you're building negativity. Also, someone was banking on someone to be toxic. Also, there's a group of people here, they don't want it to be exposed that they lied to someone in order to have them poison you. Also, like they're putting something that's very highly addictive in somebody's like um, whatever they take. They don't want that to be exposed, okay? And that's how, like, they they want you to be coming, like, back for more and more and more. And they're messing with your moods. Um, something about grouped mind control. 
Like these people are like trying to make you think negative, make you be depressed, like over and over and over and over and over and over and over. So that you're able to be so negative, so depressed that you'll want to work with these past people and then they can offer you as a sacrifice, okay? That's not going to work. You will never be around these people ever a day in your fucking life, okay? If you're anything like me. Um, yeah. This person's like got lied to. But. It's easy to see the negativity in someone. So you can't tell me this person didn't see the negativity in this group, okay? And then saw, felt a different vibe around you, okay? So it's like this person is just feed. I don't know, man. I think it's like maybe it's like they they feel like this group is more popular or they feel like this group has more numbers or I don't know but it's it's really clear that these people are lying so this person is just as negative or they're an idiot okay litigation there could be some sort of court case to do with a study in order to control a controlled study also somebody was like watching you and they they saw you as naive okay and they took control like some sort of like representation in court when you did not give any sort of authority like you did not give any sort of consent for this person to speak on your behalf okay this has happened to me before Okay, the lawyer that my mom and dad set me up with to set me up to go to jail, okay, before I fired him <laughs> um, or before I got him to fire me <laughs> so I'd avoid a fight with my parents. <laughs> um, anyway, he spoke on my behalf once, okay, but I was in the middle of running for my life from my ex, okay that they set up to harm me, okay? Um, and I believe that time he shot at me with a shotgun. But anyway, I was in the midst of that that was set up, okay? Um, trying to make it to court. And then he says, don't worry, um, when you saw me for the retainer, you signed paper and said that I could represent you today anyways, okay? I didn't sign that. But I was so caught up in this shit, okay, still on coming down from an adrenaline rush from being shot at that I was just like, oh, at least, at least someone's in court for me today, right? But I never signed that paperwork, okay? He just told me I did, but I know I wouldn't sign that. I always represent myself. Okay, I always go into court myself. Um, and if I'm not representing myself, I'm there right beside that lawyer. Okay, I've represented myself before. Okay, Th this, this was a lie. Okay, only to control. And they watched you in order to do it and saw that this was a good time to do it. Okay. There's like communication about this too, back and forth communication about ha you not having a new beginning, about you being naive, about how to litigate um, some sort of, someone also said that you needed to be watched. Yeah, someone said that you're reckless, controlling, um, manipulative, like something terrible where you need to be watched.
And this is also another control tactic to show that you are unable, unfit to have any sort of new beginning in your life because they were watching, using these control tactics and attacking you at the same time. So they thought that you would just like lay down or whatever the fuck they thought that you were going to do, roll over. Um, <laughs> uh, call upon the devil. No. Anyway, they were relentlessly attacking you um, in every kind of way, every aspect. X aspect. <laughs> Um, so that means mentally, physically, psychologically, you know, like every single way that they could. Okay. This weird mind control thing that they got going on here. Something about like trying to affect your moods through your phone. Anyway. Um... So watching you while they're doing all sorts of attacks, okay, to prove that you don't, you are incapable, to make these connections that you were incapable, in order to continue to control what they litigated here, okay, and what it is is to take over your finances, and that you need to be watched for some reason. Um, the next litigation will be against this guy, okay? The one who chose to litigate that um, to begin with and to have you watched and lied to do so so that you wouldn't have a new beginning and that they could make these connections. Um, there's also like a lawyer here who is a part of a cult They don't want that to be exposed. Okay? Because there was some sort of sacrifice here. Somebody lied about a sacrifice and they don't want it to be exposed. They're depressed about it. The wrong person went. At the end of a cycle. These people are conflicted, talking shit. They're mad about your perseverance. They're like mad that you're not dead. You persevered through death and laid something to rest in doing so. You could be healing as well. Those people are mad about that. Laying to rest people um, trying to like strong arm you. Have the upper hand. These people wanted you in lack, like um, disease written, uh, without shelter, while they take over your finances and your house. You'll see that this person was like, in lack, in lack, in lack financially, in lack financially, always in the same kind of bracket until boom, they got this come up and now they have this property. It's like, you can tell that that person didn't get there without, without the help, help of someone or theft. Also like throughout, throughout like having you in lack, and acting good, materialism, love for the love of money, okay? Um, 
with them relentlessly trying to have you in lack, they like, I'm getting like telephone poles here, but there's like phone calls. There's also um, like, like all your connections that you paid in order to have this person in lack. Yeah. It's like you led them to everybody with phone calls. This person's guarded. You celebrated attacking this person. You celebrated having this person feel like they needed to look over their shoulder, paranoid, um, for good reason. Like uh, the wounded warrior, like, like they got a fucking headache, man. <laughs> you celebrated this, okay? And this empress will be celebrating and be heavily guarded towards you because you don't deserve to be in their energy. These lovers wanted to um, manifest to come up. Also, somebody did magic on your your independence, your your financial stability. Okay, that's exactly why these um, people are going to like. There's a backfiring of energy here. Their finances will be affected. Also, someone could be becoming single. Okay, just in order to pursue you and manifest you for a come up. So if if there's any exes coming back, um, just say no somebody feels at a loss um, somebody feels at a loss because they chose to have an abortion here or maybe they forced it upon you they felt like that would have been their ticket. <laughs> also, somebody feels at a loss because they um, they put you in a false marriage. Or they went and got married and it's just like a lot of grief there. Also, somebody could be losing a child. So, um, Sorry for your loss. Um, but the the reason why there's so much grief here, okay, is because you're you're gonna know in your heart that it's because of these choices. Damn. This person you tried to attack, cut through it with their truth, okay? Um, it doesn't matter how toxic you think that this person is, they're authentic. So the magic you throw at them, their truth will, will... Them speaking just vindicates something. You you can tell that this person is authentically speaking, okay? And this is also what's going to create this new beginning for this person. Is the passion that they have for healing, Somebody's a healer. Somebody wanted to control this money. The Hierophant. Whoa. Okay. I'm I'm getting like somebody, either either somebody in like a government agency or somebody connected with connections to like government agencies, okay? Cause I'm getting like, this is like, I've never seen it like this before, but I'm getting like government. <laughs> um, damn. Or somebody with connections to the government. There's some sort of pictures here.
one of these third parties like put a device here in order to gather some sort of evidence for this leader here um, who's been ordering everyone around. This person could be keeping to themselves like they're holding their cards close to their chest because um, because of a heartache here, some pain. Or this person could be having like heart heart murmurs or like some some sort of pains in their heart and they're keeping that close to their chest, okay? Because they don't want people to know these people that they ordered around, okay? Because they wanted to have controlled heartache for somebody else, okay? And if if this is you, go get checked out, okay? <laughs> you don't have to tell anyone, just go get checked out. We don't need you dying before this litigation here. <laughs> Also, somebody could be heartbroken um, because of a third party. A third party wanting to hold on to your money. <laughs> oh, shit. Also, this person um, ordered these third parties that they sent into your life to cause you pain and sorrow and heartache, whatever, <sighs> to hold back from you. But then also allow you to give because you're you're a giver, okay? Um, not like that anymore though, okay? So that they could harness your energy, okay? But then in return, give you third parties and heartache, okay? It was like a these people would get like coached on what to do, what to say, how to hold back. Um, and it was greed that allowed them to listen to this person and some sort of like authority. This is someone of authority, right? So um, this could be blackmail as well. These third parties, this person could have had something on them, okay? With like, it's like dirt, like that they wouldn't want anyone to know, okay? I'm also getting that this person has like a hard drive, they have a hard drive, okay, that they're in control of this hard drive, but these people down here, they have keys, okay, they have, they have keys, which is like a USB, okay, and this hard drive can spy on any camera, okay, any phone camera, any, any, it's like the ultimate spy, <laughs> okay, someone got this off the dark web, so, I mean, nobody should have that. Those should be destroyed. <clears throat> but this person has has this and, and has a bunch of dirt on these third parties. And that's how they, they were able to order them around, even to break your heart, okay? It could have broke their heart to break your heart, but they didn't want this dirt to come out. And they got paid. Okay, so there's some sort of incentive there. Along with the blackmail, There's some sort of justice, someone of the justice system is trying to work on an apology or like an offer. They also see like your optimism uh, within your work, within your craft. They see what you've discovered as like tangible, like things that they could actually look into and it's accurate, okay? Because it's in the upright. It's like, that's a lot of hard work, okay? From a psychic. Also, there was someone being a fake psychic, okay? They could be a Libra with the justice card here. It doesn't have to be. They could be also be a water sign or an earth sign, but I'm getting heavily Libra. Okay, someone's also lying to police, lying to a judge, in order to have their plan go forward. Somebody fabricated evidence and brought it to a judge as well. Somebody also said that somebody was stealing their work and they were stealing the, that person's work, okay?
somebody fears um, a cover-up, someone's fighting over a cover-up, they fear it, okay? They fear this deceit of a cover-up. Also, there's an undercover within this group. And um, you'll never guess. <laughs> you'll never guess. Deceit. <laughs> what did you put out? Deceit. <laughs> also, if somebody's fighting because you, you, you are shedding light on this, okay? Just by looking inwards, okay? Isolation and meditation and discovering um, these illusions, this deceit, okay? Also, there's moon magic that's backfiring. Somebody wanted to blindside you. Have you feeling like you were blocked? Okay, this is like psychological um, torment here. Uh, but you are, you're experienced in this. This isn't the first time that you've been abused like this. Okay. Um, this isn't the first time you've had to disassociate. This isn't the first time that someone chose to play God in your life, chose to block you, chose to isolate you, chose to blindside you. It's not the first time. It's not the second time. It's not the third time. Okay, you, you're, you've, you've become experienced at this, okay? And, and it ain't pretty, um, but you get through it. And, and you know how to do it without um, blocking off those, those emotions that you need to intuitively feel, okay? Because it's like, as, the, as you've been abused over and over and over again, um, you've become, become better, Okay? Like, you're not so cold anymore. Yeah, you're conflicted, but um, not completely cut off from your emotions. Um, because you're, you're skilled. You're, you're a healer. Somebody feels blocked, okay? They're mentally conflicted about this, okay? Because of your, your come up. They could be a part of these abusers that abused you in life. And it doesn't even need to be a financial come up. It's just the way you carry yourself with such confidence, with such um, grace. Somebody wants to move before they get locked up. Or somebody's trying to move someone, but they, they're, they're like, they're going to get locked up. For some sort of finances here. They thought that they were going to be peaceful because um, they were going to get you locked up. And that's just not going to happen. That person's not going to see it coming too. Like, they know that they stole that money. They know that they frauded someone out. And they they're not going to expect it. It's just weird. Like, best believe it. <clears throat> yeah, you stole this. Tower moment. There's going to be a challenge here. Like, this person didn't just lay down and have you guys... Um, lie on them. Have you guys... They didn't allow this negative energy that you are consume them. They healed it, okay, to the best of their ability, okay? And they chose to just keep working anyways. They chose to keep um, bringing awareness anyways. They chose to keep standing their ground anyways, No matter what you said about them, okay? You're still a thief. And that's bringing the tower moment. Yeah. 
you wish to change fate, okay, by killing this person on multiple occasions. I can't list on one hand how many times these people tried to kill me, okay? And I say these people because they all work together, okay? Um, yeah. So, I mean, if you wish death upon someone, you wish to change their fortune, their fate, and you wish death upon someone, and they're, they are positive, um, uh, self, like independent, happy with being with self, <laughs> okay, um, has a great connection. What do you expect to get back? It's like somebody, oh, somebody wished death upon someone so that they would be able to end somebody's fortune, their fate. Okay? They're not fated to die at the hands of you guys. Okay? And they wish this, wish this, wish this, wish this to change somebody's fate so that they would be able to die at the hands of them. Okay? That was their wish. So they ended all their good karma. Like that's the end that's the end of your fortunate ending. Okay, something is changing here. And it's an ending for your good fortune, your good fate, for you to be okay on your own, for you to get your wishes. Okay, there'll just be endings, 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 endings. Okay, because that's what you wish for somebody else if it's not an actual ending like death. Until you choose to transform. Okay? That that darkness, that negativity, that, that greed, that that obsession. Um the way you lie. This person has intuitive messages, okay? <laughs> If somebody's in their emotions because they judged you wrong for being an intuitive. Um, you were your intuitive gifts were showing this person who the people were around them, okay? And they thought that you were just trying to call these people out, whatever they thought, okay? It's whatever these people told them to think, okay? Because you got one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six people saying one thing, making sure that you judge this person for having gifts, um, then you're probably going to believe those six people over this one person, which I don't get. Uh, honestly, I, I think that if there needs to be that many people telling me the same thing, there's something fishy there and, I, and I'll believe this person over anything, but I'll intuitively feel um, and just know anyway, or know to keep my guards up until I really know. Somebody's in their emotions because they cast a judgment upon you when you were just trying to help them. <laughs> it's like probably not even a thought in your mind anymore unless it comes out in the cards or like not often you don't think about it often it's like um yeah that was one hardship that was one bump in the road but i mean there's been so many others that it's like it gets lost somebody took um Somebody invested, okay? They, they, they made these investments. And they'll, they'll, they're going to get arrested for these investments. Like they took your investments and they made other investments. 
This person's going to get arrested. People are getting gaining clarity um, on how you came up. Recognition on on the mental torment you put somebody through for that come up. This person's truth will be crowned. Okay? Because that was truth put there in their mind from the divine. Okay? Nobody else told them. And this is what this person will be recognized for as well. Standing in their truth in the midst of chaos and torment. Okay? Something that was supposed to make them go mental. These past people are burdened um, because they know that you're an empath. They know that you're emotionally intelligent. They know that your messages are accurate. Okay? They have nothing but fond memories of you and maybe, maybe um, you're not perfect and you're a little bit toxic, but you still have good heart and they know this. They know that when it comes down to it, you would have done anything for them. Okay? These are friends, cousins, the exes, whoever they got to attack you, right? Like these people have memories of you being very kind. Okay? They also have memories of them putting all these attacks on you, all these burdens on you. Okay? Like you didn't deserve it. They know this. And they also know that your intuitive downloads are very accurate. <laughs> this, this money, okay, or this offer or this opportunity here, this gift, you're going to have a lot of suitors come in, okay, from the past, present, future, <laughs> ghost of christmas past no um in order to act as if they are giving you equal give and take but really they just want this come up okay to be cool in front of their um broke ass friends but they are broke ass so it's like they have this creative idea <laughs> to come in as a suitor and act like they want to romance you Okay, for this opportunity. They're an opportunist. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to be dating. <laughs> so just like, maybe don't date for a while. Like a good while. Like some years. These people are t detached. And they knew about the plan. Okay, to sabotage you, to kill you. Oh, snap. Okay. There's somebody who's detached here and this is their job, okay? And somebody paid them a large amount of money to do this to you, okay? So that they could just walk away, okay? But I'm getting like they wanted to like cut somebody up, like like cut them. See how many knives are there? Like, like a lot of slices and then like put in something so that nothing will be found. Like some sort of like um, acid, like a barrel of acid or something like that so that nothing would be found, okay? And then they could just continue to take over these finances with whoever they chose to give those finances to. See how it's like all split? All the different um, people was split. Um, yeah, so that they could just walk away from the situation and have it be deaded, okay? And there's also somebody who's emotionally detached who does this for work, okay? And they, they paid this person, and I'm getting like, I don't know, i just seen that very clearly, though, within the card.
this person could have like walked away okay the person that they paid could have walked away okay because they saw something they saw what it was for where it came from it came from the same person they saw the betrayal that went into this okay and they walked away an emotionally detached person who does that for a living walked away and these people can't um it's got to say something about their character right or it's like these people judge people they judge you they judge like everybody <laughs> okay they were judging this person as well and um it just goes to show like you you can't you can't judge people man you never know what their story's been that's got, led them to up until that point right it's like when you judge someone you open the door to be judged <clears throat> okay so because you judge this person okay the person you chose to betray you will be judged for that and you'll internalize it okay i never once judge any of you you guys even for wanting to kill me and, and 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 doing your damnedest to try to execute that i still don't judge you okay and i'm never going to internalize any sort of judgment you guys cast upon me because i don't leave any room okay in my mental space to judge maybe i judge a situation judge some circumstances judge some scenario but never cast judgment okay um and i wouldn't really call that judging but yeah so because these pe people like judge so hard their judgment is going to be so um it's going to be so i don't know what to say it's going to be so harsh and it's going to feel harsh and they're going to feel it deep down within them because they leave space for judgment within their mind. Okay. In order to have other people ignore you or um, an idea or whatever, whatever the reason is to judge, but they judge a lot. Okay. All these past people, this family, this lawyer. <sighs> There's a cop here who feels like somebody gave them misinformation to have them passionate on ignoring a situation, on ignoring this neglect, on ignoring these hate crimes, on ignoring these RICO crimes, right? Um, these these um, crimes against humanity because of false information, okay, from a cop. To have you miss out on this opportunity they're unsatisfied okay because they're seeing this now they're seeing eye to eye with this earth angel they're getting a new perspective on the stagnancies within their life and they're realizing that this person is telling the truth they like sympathize for um what this person's had to go through um and along with this enlightenment and um, having to transmute all this energy of, of all these relations trying to keep you stagnant and um, sabotage you and, and, and kill you. Um, it's like, wow, this person feels a certain way about it. They like know that you're an earth angel. They know that you transmute energy. They know that you're divinely protected because how could you not be? Also, there's like a balance here, a balance of energy within like a divine union. Uh, because this person chose to be stagnant, um, your, your partner, your divine partner, this ordained partnership, okay? It's being switched up. This person chose to be stagnant 
even though they're enlightened, they still choose to be stagnant, okay? Something's going to get balanced out here, and you will have an opportunity for a new relationship, okay? Um, and that will come in. Um, I'm not sure when, but they could work in like the health system or something like that. Or like a firefighter, I don't know. I'm like getting drawn to this here. It's reminding me of like what's on the side of like um, an ambulance. This person could be an earth angel as well. Okay, they are. They're enlightened as well. Okay, so it'll be it'll be it'll be fresh. It'll be new, um, and that is due to your other contract not being fulfilled. Um, this person chose not to come forward. This person chose not to be in a relation, any sort of relation. Okay. Yeah, they, they held back information, they didn't say anything, but they watched and they they juggled and they switched up and they watched people switch up in front of them. Um, so this person could be ending out cycles with these people that juggled their energy, with these people that held back information, but they have to understand that they did that too to somebody else. So it's like, how can you, you can't judge these people <laughs> for playing you and holding back. Okay. Cause you do that too. There's an ending here, an end of a cycle. Okay. Somebody can't make up their mind. They don't know what to say, but it's like, then don't because not saying something is saying something. And that's what you've chosen to do up until this point. So it's like, just don't then. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know. Or grow a set. <laughs> um, or somebody could be like transferring somebody's phone calls and like making sure that your your phone calls get forwarded somewhere somewhere else so that you can't communicate. Damn. Now that's something else, right? That's something else. Yeah, there could be like this group here that doesn't want you to be happy. They want you to be negative and, and um, take what they have to offer, okay? Which is like abuse and fucking flakiness. <laughs> so they're going to try to call forward your phone calls or like swap out your text messages or something like that. So you feel like you're trying to contact this person and that they're holding back when it's just false. Okay. They're like swapping something. I'm also getting SIM swap. I don't know what that is, but, um, have a good day people.